Sam University Bulldogs. I'm Brian Fulford, joined by Ron Mitchell. And, Ron, it's an early conference contest for both teams, and especially for Southern University, which comes into this game with a pair of firsts. Actually, Brian, you are correct. But, actually, this is Coach Stump Mitchell's first year as being the head coach of the Southern University Jaguar team. So, but he's no stranger to the game of NFL, to the game of football himself. After 21 years in the NFL, he has to come in, establish himself in conference play, and he's going to have to find out who his starting quarterback will be. Actually, he lost his quarterback, so he's going to go to Holloman, actually, who's a running back, to actually engineer this team and try to get a victory in conference play tonight. And uh, Coach um, Coach Mitchell's going to Gary Holloman on one side, but on the other side of the field, uh, Coach Anthony Jones of the Alabama A&M Bulldogs, his team's looking to find its identity. Record of 1-2, and 0-1 oh coming in this conference after a tough loss last week to Texas Southern. Coach Jones is going to be looking to his quarterback, sophomore Deontay Mason, to establish some leadership and get this team going in the right direction. Actually, he wants Mason to step up and engineer and take over this team. Let it know, be known that it's his team. He has just under 500 yards passing after three games, so we're going to look for him to do some big things and take over the leadership role as well. And Coach J- Jones let us know going into this ball game that the team, the key to victory, is going to be the team that protects their quarterback so it's real interesting matchup we've got you could call them new young quarterbacks and two defenses that are going to look to be getting to them so the offensive lines are going to be key going into this ball game actually like you said whoever secures the ball doesn't create the turnovers and the intangibles are who's going to come out of this game tonight victorious all right ron are you ready for some football hey this is about time all right. Well, as we get ready for this contest going into uh, today, the overall record uh, is uh, Southern with a slight six to five lead in this series. These two teams have not played since 2007. Uh, excuse me, 2006 when Alabama A&M won 28 to 21. But as Coach told us, Coach um, Coach Jones told us these two teams are. Uh, You've got many players who who weren't a part of that, you know, that era. So it, it's sort of a new start for these two teams. Uh, what's interesting, Alabama A&M comes into this season as a preseason favorite in the Eastern Division. And uh, in the previous eight years under Coach Jones, they've been the representative of the Eastern Division in the SWAC championship game four times. So um, Coach says he's real honored about that. But uh, definitely, he thinks you know a lot of that is based on their past history, and so uh, these uh, Bulldogs who are preparing to take the field here shortly, um, they've got a lot on their plate as they've got to live up to high expectations. Yeah, we had a, you know I've had an opportunity to see that Southern University team play a couple of weeks ago in Orlando when they turned around and got the ball moving and had the momentum, and they pulled out a victory against Delaware State. But now they've had a time, little time off. We can see if they can shake the cobwebs off, and we can have a great night of football here in Huntsville. All right. Uh, we're going to set the uh, starting lineups for you as we await both teams uh, to take, take the field. And uh, this is the 100th year of football, Bulldog football, here in Huntsville, Alabama for the uh, Alabama A&M Bulldogs and uh, Coach Jones uh, next to uh, Lewis Cruz uh, has established himself over these uh, over almost the past decade as to be one of the um, leading coaches in the uh, fraternity history of coaching uh, this historic program. Brian, as we pick up at this point, you know, Coach Stump Mitchell, he has to establish, make sure his defense plays up to their potential, and they're going to have to try to minimize their mistakes. Because one thing you have to find out, if you're going to go with the running back, who now you're going to put at quarterback, actually he's going to come out with the philosophy, he's going to put the ball 
in the best athlete's hand. So that's why he's going to not worry about so much of the passing game because we know Holloman, he was a former high school quarterback. Well, it's a little different these days playing high school compared to college football at this level of play. So as they come in in this game, he's going to try to establish a running game. And we may see a lot of wildcat type of offense being run, being that he will drop back and he's going to probably run it. Now we're going to have the captains get ready to uh, go out and get ready for our corn toss. Our captains are going out uh, to the field right now. Number 78 for Southern. Our captains for Southern, number 78, Lee Almanza. Number 90, Jordan, <coughs> Jordan Miller. And number 27, Anthony Wells. For the A&M Bulldogs. Once we get them to turn around, we can probably address their numbers. As they're stepping in. Corey Morrison, number 34, one of the captains. As well as number 41, Tony Green, senior senior tailback. Up front, offensive lineman, Russell Jackson. And number 90, Frank Kirsch on the defensive line. Those are your captains. And Alabama A&M will kick off to Southern to start this ball game. And I think a uh, little gamesmanship there by Coach Jones of the Bulldog willing to put and uh, put his defense out, out on the field, which <clears throat> he told us his defense he feels is the strong strong suit of this team. Uh, this is a defensive unit for Alabama A&M that is ranked number one in the SWAC in rushing defense. Allowing just 83 yards per game on the ground, and they rank number two in total defense with uh, 270 yards per game. And um, Coach Jones feels like this defensive unit, if they can get after Holloman and Southern University, they can create some havoc. One thing they're going to have to do is they're going to have to convert where their rankings actually transcend, transcend into actual play. Being that they've lost two games already, if you're ranked number one in your conference in defense, you're going to have to play consistent football across the board, minimize your mistakes. Back to receive the opening kickoff for Southern, number 80, Richard Wilson, a sophomore from Monroe, Louisiana, and number 33, Sylvester Sylvester Nzikwe, running back, a redshirt sophomore from out of Seattle, Washington. It's been a bit overcast uh, in Huntsville for pretty much most of the day. Overcast, it's been raining, and finally, uh, for uh, kickoff, we're going to have partly cloudy skies. It's a slow arriving crowd, but uh, we're expecting a good crowd here tonight. Of course, this is the first of two games, uh, consecutive home games for the Bulldogs, who host homecoming next week. Here we are for the opening kickoff. Well, Garrett Smith. That's going to go to Wilson at the 15. Left sideline, 30, 35, and he's brought down at about the 38-yard line. And that's where Southern will start on offense. And out on the field, number 15, Gary Holloman starting for the Jaguars. And the Jaguars... Come out with Holloman under center. Backs in an eye. Twins to Holloman's left. 
Holloman keeps. He scrambles. Back up the middle. He's got room. 45. 40. He's got room. He's what an opening play. 20. 10. Hello, Gary Holloman. Touchdown, Southern. This is what Coach Stumpmith talked about. He wanted the ball in his playmaker's hand. Broken play. Obviously, I don't know if it was a missed handoff or what, but Holloman makes something out of nothing. And for almost a, that's about a 62-yard opening play from scrimmage touchdown for the Jaguars on the kick. That was that was a great transition on a busted play. He was able to make something out of nothing, like you said, Brian. William, and look what happened. William Griswold on the kick for Southern. The snap, the hold, the kick is up. And it is good. And talk about taking the breath out of the room already. Southern University goes up 7-0 on A&M. So actually, this is what we were looking forward to. A very exciting football game. Come out with Holloman under Here's center. Backs and an eye. Twins. Actually, come out with a slot formation to the lower part of the field. And actually... I think it was just going to be a run all the way, but actually he kind of broke it off with penetration that Alabama A&M uh, had on that side. He just went ahead and changed directions, and he made something happen. You know, Coach Stump Mitchell said, hey, he's going to put the ball in his playmaker's hand, and look what he put six points on the board. Back for the Bulldogs, who will now have to try to answer. Uh, number 30, Brendan Johnson, and number 41, Tony Green, are back to receive this kickoff. So, all of 18 seconds into the opening quarter, Southern with a 7-0 lead over Alabama A&M. Number 17, Josh Duran kicking off. And that's going to go to Johnson just inside the 10. He's going to go to his right, try to pick up a block he from Green. He's going to the right front. side, 30. Nice stiff arm, 35, and goes out of bounds. Actually went out of bounds just before the stiff arm. Looks like at about the 34, just shy of the 34-yard line. Actually, that was number 22, forcing him out of bounds. So now, leading his offensive troops out onto the field, sophomore from out of Nashville, Tennessee, Deontay Mason. Mason with Green as the single back. He's got twins to his left. Green's in motion, empty backfield. Mason is a tight end, wide open down the middle to the 40, 30, 20, brought down at the 15 Yard line, that's number 88, Bobby Goldsby. And that was number one, Demetri Rogers. Making so, a game-saving tackle. Not to say game-saving, but it was a definitely six points going on the board. He quick, was able to stop it. Quick reaction by Mason, who quickly found the open tight end who was uncovered. And it's uh, first and ten on the 15-yard line for the Bulldogs. Mason's in shotgun. Twins to his left and right. And that's Green in the backfield with him. The snap, he rolls to his left. He's going to keep. And to the 10. And he's brought down. Number 8, Jason House. Brought down by House at about the... Uh, that's about the 9-yard line. That's about a 6-yard Run and, and you know, Ron, you brought up Mason leading the team in rushing attempts. So obviously, there's a, there's a lot of pass run that you have to be aware of with Mason when he has the ball in his hands. Actually, they caught Southern University in a bad situation when they they're lining up, emptying out the backfield, and they're trying to find the mismatch or the uncovered guy. Fullback Devron Owensby. There's the handoff to Green up the middle. And looks like he may have picked up about a yard on that. Actually, looks like Jordan Miller, one of the nose tackles, was in on that stop. 
when that Alabama and m team spreads the field, that puts a lot of pressure on the defense because everyone has to be accounted for. Two tight ends checked into the ball game for A&M. Kenneth Harris and Goldsby. There's Mason under center. Back in motion. He drops back. Looks to pass. And his intended receiver was Goldsby. There is a flag on the field. We're going to see the call on the field. Looks like it was a little jumping on the far side of the line. It'll be second down against that penalty on Alabama A&M. And from the previous spot, more substitutions for both. Actually, they're going to Southern is going to decline. That was third down. Southern's going to decline the penalty and it looks like the Bulldog are going to uh, kick the extra point attempt. Well, actually, it'll be the or the field, field goal attempt. Field goal Excuse tip. me. Thank you, Ron. They didn't want to give Alabama and M another crack at trying to get a play in, so they want to go ahead and force their hand, see if they can force them to make this. Chance field goal. Wilson with the kick, and it is good. So the Bulldogs come right back and answer. Our score with 12.25 left in the first quarter, Southern 7, Alabama A&M 3. You're watching the Black College Sports Network on SWAC TV. So the salient features of uh, once more of the GS4200 model. Manufactured than its venerable predecessor, and up to sorry, 17% quieter. Natural aids available both. Sorry about that. Brain beige. I'm sorry. I think I better take this. It's my wife on Uvu. Twelve twenty-five remaining in the first quarter already. Southern with a seven to three lead over the Bulldogs. Now, that was a great, great drive for Alabama A&M after giving up one play for a touchdown. They come back, and I think they've even established a little more momentum by actually driving the ball down the field. Back to receive in Zeke and Johnson. That's going towards Johnson at about the 9. To the 20, tries to go sideline, cutting back in to the 30. He's brought down by a host of, uh, wrapped up by a host of Bulldogs, and they're going to spot that ball at about the 30-yard line. Actually, I saw that was Vernon Marshall, one of the defensive backs from Birmingham, Alabama. We're going to try. Making a stop on that. We're going to try to set our starting lineups for you for Southern. I know it's been a quick chaotic pace already. As Gary Holloman back onto the field and Southern will take their second offensive play of course their opening play a 62 yard touchdown by Holloman first and 10 under center backs in the eye there's that play again the fake handoff and this time he's brought down exit for a loss for a loss of about three yards on that and on that play number 40 49 for the uh, Bulldogs, Denzel Cotton, and 51, Willie Fuller. So it'll be second down and 13. Ball in the Jaguar, 27. Backs in the eye again. There's the handoff to Enzeque. Not quite to the original line of scrimmage. A gain of, looks like, maybe only a yard in that. Uh, up front, uh, let's start with the backs and receivers for for Southern. Uh, you got, of course, Gary Holloman, and then you've got uh, Sylvester Nzikwe, uh Lee Mitchell, uh, the uh, fullback, the 
Z-back, number five, Isaiah Nelson, Charles Hawkins, and Curry Allen. They're going to that one back. Third set. down. Finds a receiver. And that is number 13, Curry Allen, but it's not nearly enough for the first down. So three and out go to Jaguars. And that was Corey Morrison actually playing very tight coverage on that. That'll force the Jaguars into a, a punting situation. Now Coach Stump Mitchell is going to try to see. He's going to have to figure out a game plan how they can establish a, a smooth running game as well as a passing game. Alabama A&M had a great transition. Josh Duran. In and out. Josh Duran punting. Tony Green at about the 16-yard line. There's a flag down. And he'll get out to about the 29-yard line. But let's wait to see what that flag is. That was Brandon Rice coming down a sophomore. Making the stop for Southern on that punt return. Looks to be a possible block in the back. If so. It'll be first down. The penalty committed back at about the 19-yard line, so they'll back him up. Back him up about half the distance. Right. So that ball will be spotted at about the 11. Now we'll, we'll see what Mason can actually do as they try to engineer a drive at this point. Starting from their own 11-yard line. First and 10, that's Deontay Mason in the shotgun. Tight end in motion. Checks at the line. He's got trips to his right. Tony Green, single back. Quick drop. Mason's keeping. Finds some hole. Finds a hole. Keep keeping his right. 20, 15 gets a blocker. All the way out to about the 38 yard line. A bit of a horse collar, and there's the flag. Actually, that was Rogers coming over making a making a stop on that from his his position. They're going to mark him out at about the. Line. If that is a horse collar, that's probably going to be another 15. A face mask, excuse me, face mask. And that's going to push the Bulldogs out to midfield. 10 3 remaining in the first quarter of action here. I mean, what we see now, Alabama AM has been the aggressor, you know, even though they're on offense. They're initiating this game at this point. We can see if they can keep the momentum going. Mason with the hand out the green, and whoa, he's met deep in the backfield. Six-yard tackle for loss by number 65 for Southern. Number 65, Brandon Turner uh, from out of Indianapolis, Indiana, with a six-yard tackle for loss. Coach Jones talked about the offensive line and his offensive line being able to hold uh, Southern, uh, hold him back because uh, those are definitely not the plays that you want to give up, especially so early in the ball game when you get a gift of a 15-yard penalty. Here you go, second and 16, ball on the 44. Mason out of shotgun. Finds Green in the flat. Green back out to the 50. He's still in the Jaguar territory, still pumping his feet. Uh, he gets to about the 47-yard line is where maybe the 46. No, nope, looks like they're going to spot it about the 47-yard line. Tony Green on that. So the Bulldogs operating out of the no-huddle offense. Mason checking over with Coach Jones for the play. Like All the receivers a... looking down at their belts. He's got twins to his left and right. The single back, Tony Green. This is definitely a pass situation. Mason 
Actually, this Vibes is green on the screen. screen. Back up to the middle with a good cut. 40. And brought down. Brought down just shy of the 35-yard line. On that play for Southern, number eight, Jason House from out of Laurel, Mississippi. Move those chains for the Bulldogs first down. Now Mason brings his team out of the huddle. A nice mix there uh, for the Bulldogs early. Get a few big plays. I think they may be calling two to three plays at a time. Let's see how this one goes. Off split eye. There's green. There's a reverse. Number 25. Still going. About an eight-yard pickup on that play by Rashad Johnson, a wide receiver from out of Mobile, Alabama. Picks about eight yards. That's it. That was Rodgers, again, coming up from his strong safety position, making the tackle on that. Right now, Alabama A&M is, like you say, they're pushing, they're pushing this, this Southern team around, and they're catching them out, out of position on these transitions. Second down and two, ball on the 28-yard line. With the slot to this bottom side of the field. Two tight ends. Mason, there's the handoff. And that's going to be a first down for the Bulldogs. Number 35, Kadarius Lacey, sophomore from Calera, Alabama, picks up the first down. Again, and we had John White, number 52, at linebacker, going to stop. He's out of Patterson. Back to the no huddle again are the Bulldogs. Mason, he's got two receivers, twins to his right. That's Johnson and Carlock. The single back again is Lacey. There's the handoff. Lacey, he fumbled it, and it's going to be recovered by Southern. I think Rogers is the man on the bottom of that pile. It is for Southern. Number one, Demetric Rogers with the first one, and that just looked like Lacey, he just had a tough time holding on to the handoff. I mean, if you look at that drive, that was a positive drive Alabama A&M had, and they had to end up giving it up right there in the pretty much, you know, fumble in the red zone. And if we look at the replay on that, you'll see there's the handoff, and he just bobbled from the get-go. So back to live action now. One First and set. ten, Holloman, there's the handoff. And tackle for a loss of about three or four. That was West coming in at his position from. And Zeke was the tailback. So it'll be Actually, second and 13. Ball on the 16-yard line for Southern. Actually, that was Willie Fuller out of Lithonia, Georgia. From his linebacker spot making a stop on that play. Holloman backs in the eye. Receivers are split. He's going to keep, Holloman is, using those tailback skills, and he's brought down right there by number 90, Frank Kearse. Frank Kearse right there on that play, and another consecutive tackle for loss for the Bulldogs. I don't want to say the clock struck 12, but Southern's going to have to come up with some type of offensive scheme to get some misdirection and actually try to get some pass plays in because right now Alabama a and starting to peel back their ears and they're starting to attack them now. Now, checking into the ball game appears to be Jeremiah McGinty, who was the starting quarterback the opening two weeks. Well, Didn't start, been a little bit injured. He's well, got four receivers. He drops back. Everyone's set. running deep. He's running. He's got room. Will he run? Does he want to run? And he overthrows his intended target, number 88, on that play, uh, Rashawn Allen. And a uh, little indecision there. And and uh, and I wonder, Ron, I if think- the injury for uh, McGinty had a little something to do with him not wanting to run on that well, play. Well, actually, that was a screen play initially set up because I, as I was – able to watch the receivers go down they kind of went down the field and spotted up they really didn't run any routes so after 
the rush end up getting a little penetration. He didn't have anybody to throw to because they didn't have any routes really set. It was an inside screen. Josh Duran punting from his own end zone. Tony Green back to receive for the Bulldogs, standing about near midfield. Another great punt job is away. Alabama A&M's defense. Green will receive at about the 49. The sidelines, he's got room. And first on the play for Southern at about the 35-yard line, with, number with, 27, Anthony, Anthony Wells. Wells. So it'll be first and 10 in Jaguar territory for the Bulldogs with 451 remaining in the first quarter as the offensive unit huddles on the sideline and around Coach Jones, and they will come right out to the to the ball. We're going to see what Mason can do. I mean, they're starting an excellent field position for this series. Actually, twins, twins to Mason's left. Green is the deep back. P little play action. He's looking. He goes over the middle. He's got a man. Oh, overthrew him by about two or three yards. His intended receiver, number 25, Rashad Johnson. Johnson was there. He w That was going to be his go-to guy the whole time. He, he kept his eyes locked in on him. So, so actually, they're, they're, they're set and ready to go. They're trying to catch Southern in a couple of mismatches. So now Mason and the Bulldogs out of the shotgun. He's got uh, two backs. That's Green and Lacey. Inside handoff to Green. He'll pick up about hmm, five yards, almost to about the 30-yard line. Or just inside the 30. Let's see what they spot that. It'll be third. Actually, they give him four yards. So it'll be third and six to the 30. And right back to the line of scrimmage again are the Bulldogs. This time he's got Mason has two receivers to his left. Green is the single back. Lone receiver is Carlock. That was Marlon Smith making a tackle for the Jaguars. So this third down is definitely another passing down situation based on this set that they have. Here's the inside. No, Mason Keep. He's got some room. Picks up the first down. 20, 15. Takes on a Jaguar at about the 10-yard line. He'll come up just short of the 10. It'll be a first down. Actually, they're going to spot that right on the 10-yard line. So it looks like it'll be first and goal for the Bulldogs. Deep in the Jaguar territory, looking to take the lead. That was Jason House making the stop. What do you think of this quick tempo, Ron? And, and right now the, like say, the Bulldogs have the Jaguars off guard, it looks like. Alabama A&M has them on their heels, and they're going to keep pushing them. They're going to keep pushing them. Mason, there's the handoff to Green up the middle. Picks up about five, maybe six yards based on the spot. They're going to give him six. It'll be at about the four-yard line. And there's a Jaguar that's down on the field. Number 57, Corey Ray, linebacker, redshirt junior from out of Clinton, Mississippi. A little slow to get up. We're going to take a timeout. Injury timeout, our score with 3-11 in the first quarter. Southern 7, Alabama A&M 3. You're watching the Black College Sports Network on SWAC TV. Since 1920, we are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. The collegiate home of Hall of Famers like Jerry Rice, Walter Payton, Willis Reed, and Lou Brock. The tradition and pageantry of college athletics combined with a world-class education. Ten globally focused institutions offering 18 NCAA Division I sports. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. With a vision to the future, we honor the heritage. Remaining in the first quarter, Southern University with a 7-3 lead on the Bulldogs, but the Bulldogs are second and goal from the four-yard line as coming off the field with a possible shoulder injury was Corey Ray. 
Deontay Mason stepping down. He's in the shotgun. He's got two receivers split to his right. That's Johnson and Milton. Gialonzo Milton. There's the inside handoff to Green. And he's met at the line by two Jaguars. Number 95, Casey Narcisse. And 56, Jeremiah Booth. They're going to have to get a little tougher on the inside because I think Alabama A&M has been doing a great job on those inside counters. So Mason saw that he didn't need the pass on that last play. He figured he can go ahead and they can pound it in. As far as one thing you have to do, you're going to have to establish a great running game, and that can transcend to making your offense flow. Third and goal, Mason from five yards out. Wide Finds open. it wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama A&M, Rashad Johnson. Nice quick pass, and real similar to earlier in the ball game, that slot receiver left uncovered. This time it leads to six for the Bulldogs. Mason is doing a great job of read and recognition. This is what Coach Jones talked about earlier. You know, he wanted him to step up and have a great game. Try to let, even though he's just a sophomore, he wants him to take up and have that senior type leadership. Chance Wilson knocks the extra point through the uprights, and our score with 2-3 left in the first quarter. Alabama A&M 10, Southern University 7. You're watching the Black College Sports Network on SWAC TV. Back to live action from the campus of Alabama A&M University, Lewis Cruz Stadium. The SWAC contest between the Bulldogs of Alabama A&M and the Jaguars of Southern University. 2:03 remaining in the first quarter. Southern, or the Bulldogs now with a 10-7 lead over the Jaguars. And back to receive for Southern. Number 80, Richard Wilson and 33. In Zeke and Johnson up the middle. Oh, he's man. got room, and he's going to be brought down at about the 45-yard line by number 26, Rico Porch. But a nice return by Southern, and now close to midfield, uh, almost about midfield from where Southern scored on the opening possession of the ball game. They're going to they're going to go with uh, number nine. McGinty is McGinty. now McGinty is back in at quarterback, and now Holloman will return to his native position as tailback. So um, it'll be interesting to see how this works. And most importantly, can Southern's offensive line keep the front four of the Bulldogs off of McGinty? Might have been a little movement there, and yep, there's going to be a little movement by the tight end, number 84, Javon Jordan, yeah, got think- off the line a little bit early think he was a little edgy because that was going to be a definite pass play because he was coming off real hard. I mean, they have to do something right now because Alabama a has been pushing the ball down the field with no problem, and their defense has been playing. You know, I can't say enough about their defense at this point. There have been a lot of three ins and out. So McGinty will have three receivers, two to his left. That's Charles Hawkins and Isaiah Nelson. McGinty drops back, goes screen to Holloman. At the 40, spin move, and brought down by two or three Bulldogs on the play for the Bulldogs. Number 51, Willie Fuller, and number 95, Brian Christian. The Southern team is is not really going in in a positive direction as far as offensively. They're going to have to come up, and I guess they're going to try to do the inside screen. Sometimes that can take the aggressive play from the defense to try to catch them out of position. McGinty, our center. Now he moves back into the shotgun. Holloman is his single back. He has twins to his left, single receiver to his right. 
He's looking left, looking left, goes down the field and almost intercepted by number 34, Corey Morrison. And that'd be 10 push-ups if it were practice because Morrison, he very well could have had a pick six because there was nothing but green grass in front of him. Yeah, that route, that was not really a good route. The receiver tried to run and number one, McGinty, he's, he's probably alone edge, you know, initially not starting the game and coming in in a situation like this now they are backed up in a third and 15 it is third and 15 correction i may have called third and 15 on that last play but it is actually third 15 for receivers for mcginty drops back pressure up the middle he keeps it he steps up he's gonna run out to the 45 brought down and let's see if there's an extra flag on that a little little extra at the end a tackle was made by number by number 49 okerson uh, Okerson, uh, Okerson, excuse me, yeah. Afu Okerson on that tackle and a little extracurricular on the end by number 28, D. Let, but the officials let that go. So now, back to punt for the Jaguars. Number 17, Josh Duran, and standing back on about his 10, about the 11, is Tony Green. He's going to have a little bit of room. At the 11, he fields it. Up the left side, up the sideline. And he's tackled and taken out of bounds by number 82, Jared Bing. So 11 seconds are remaining in the first quarter. The Bulldogs with a 10-7 lead over the Jaguars. Ball will be spotted on the 23-yard line. And this will be the last play of the first quarter. And it's been a positive first quarter for the Bulldogs. On both sides of the ball, minus the opening possession. Yeah, I'm liking where the Bulldogs are at this point in this game. You know, we talked about early in this game, finding the identity. And definitely they've established themselves on the offensive side of the ball and as well as the defensive presence. Mason handoff to Green, and he's brought down about a one-yard run. That was the number 65 65, on that tackle right there for Southern, Brandon Turner. And that's going to bring an end to the first quarter of action. So it got off to a bang, and then the Bulldogs kind of reeled the Jaguars in. Our score at the end of one, Alabama A&M 10, Southern University 7. You're watching the Black College Sports Network on SWAC TV. 